To find the area of a circle, we use the formula pi times the radius squared. The area of a circle is equal to pi times the radius squared. In this first example, we have a semicircle with a diameter of 12 centimeters. If the diameter is 12 centimeters, a radius is half of a diameter. So the radius must be half of 12, so six centimeters. To find the area of the whole circle, we would use pi times the radius squared. So area of the whole circle is pi times six squared. But because we've got a semicircle, we've got half of the area. So the area of a semicircle is half of the area of the whole circle. So we're going to divide it by two. So six squared is 36. Pi times 36, we can write as 36 pi. 36 pi means 36 times pi. And we're going to half it. So half of 36 is 18. So we've got 18 pi. The area of the semicircle is 18 pi. And the units, we measure area in squares. So the units are centimeters squared. If we were asked to give our answer as a decimal, we could type it into the calculator. So 18 pi. Press the S to D button and we will get a decimal answer instead. OK, one for you to try. This time we've got a quarter circle. So we're finding the area of a quarter circle. So the area of a circle is pi times the radius squared. So it's going to be pi. The radius is 9, so pi times 9 squared, and it's a quarter circle, so we're going to divide by 4 this time. We've got a quarter of the whole circle. 9 squared is 81, so we've got 81 pi over 4, and the units are in centimetres squared again. So this is as simple as it gets. If we typed in the calculator, so we could, we could have typed the whole formula into the calculator. So pi times 9 squared over 4. So we get 81 over 4 pi. Or if we wanted a decimal answer, 63.6 .6 to one decimal place. This question says calculate the area of this sector. So a sector is part of a circle. So we've got the center of the circle here. We've got two radiuses and an arc, part of the circumference. That's what makes it a sector. We've got two radiuses and part of the circumference. So we've got a fraction of a whole circle again. So what fraction do we have? We've got 100 degrees, so we've got 100 degrees out of a total, a whole circle has 360 degrees. So we're going to say we've got 100 360ths of the whole circle. So this fraction of the area of the whole circle, which is pi times the radius squared. So our fraction times, so our fraction of, of and times, we can use interchangeably. So this fraction of the area of the circle. And we can type that into the calculator. So 100 over 360 times pi times 8 squared. And we get 160 over 9 pi. 160 over 9 pi. And the units, well, the length was in, the radius was in millimeters. 
So the area will be in millimetres squared. And one for you to try. So calculate the area of this sector. So we're going to write a fraction of the circle we've got. So we've got 70 360ths. That's the fraction of the circle. So we want that fraction of the area of the whole circle, which is pi times the radius squared. So I'm going to type this into the calculator. So 70 over 360 times pi times 10 squared. So we've got our answer of 175 over 9 pi. And the units this time are in centimetres squared. So the radius was in centimetres. We measure area in squares. So our units are centimetres squared. And another question. This time we're being asked to give our answer to one decimal place. So we have, again, a sector, a fraction of a circle. So we're going to work it out by writing the fraction of the circle we've got. So we've got 150 degrees out of 360 degrees. And we want that fraction of the area of the whole circle, which is pi times the radius squared. So we're just going to type it into the calculator. And we want our answer to one decimal place. So I press the S to D button. And to one decimal place, I've got 64.1. So 64.1. The radius was in meters. So it's going to be meters squared for the area. And the second question, actually one for you to try. So give this one a go. So again, calculating the area of the sector. So what fraction of the circle have we got? We've got 45 out of 360, which is actually one eighth. But because we're typing in the calculator, we don't have to simplify it. So it's that fraction of the whole circle, which is pi times the radius squared. So we have 45 out of 360 times pi times the radius squared. So 81 over 8 pi, or to one decimal place, 31.8. So 31.8, and the units are centimetres squared. And to finish up, three questions. So pause the video, give them a go, and press play when you're ready for the answers. So question one, we've got 107 degrees out of the whole circle. And it's that fraction of the area of the whole circle, which is pi times the radius squared. So type it in the calculator. And to one decimal place, I've got 67 point, well, it says 46. So I'm rounding up. So 67.5 centimeters squared. Question two, we've got 82 360ths of pi times 3.9 squared. So 10.88, so we're rounding up 
10.9 and again centimeters squared. And for question three, we can see we've got 50 degrees cut out of the whole circle. So what angle have we got? We've got 360, take away 50. So we've got 310 degrees. So we want 310 360ths of the whole circle, which is pi r squared. And to one decimal place, that's 110.8. So 110.8, and again, the units are in centimeters squared.